Okay, YouTube, here it is. The wall's all done. All we need now is some carpet. And this room will be done. I still got that one wall to finish in the bedroom, but I can do that in a couple hours and it'll be ready to be painted. And it'll be done so I'll give you an update on that once I get it finished so there we go it's an eggshell kind of an off-white looks a little more brown to me but I was kind of wanting something a little bit lighter since we only have one window in this room and there's the house next door so we don't get a lot of light in here so that's why we wanted to go with something a little bit lighter, but there's what we got. Pooh Bear likes it, so that's all that matters. So there it is. So we'll get an update on the bedroom once it's done and then once the carpet's in. So there you go. There it is. All done. Not perfect, but just some, this camera's not focusing right. Still some imperfections, but it's kind of hard to patch a plaster wall with drywall because plaster is not by any means, especially from 1922, it's, it's not by any means, you know, flat. It's kind of wavy. You really don't notice it until you start taking it off. And then you'll, you'll have half an inch of uh, plaster and six inches up, you may have an eighth of an inch or less, you know, so it's kind of hard to get it right but it turned out okay um, we're going with crown molding up there at the top uh, but we're not going to do that right now because we're going to do the ceilings we're going to go with a decorative tile type ceiling so uh, we'll do a video on that as we do that but that's not going to be a for a while yet so that may be next spring or summer um, next project will be my man cave in the basement so it's pretty neat how like in this camera it's like the left wall there looks like a tan and the right wall looks white but I assure you it's the same color but it's just neat but on the left or that's actually what the color color is so let's open this up just weird way it way it looks like that huh just now noticed that pretty cool but anyway there you go youtube i'll throw some still images up for you too as well thanks for watching and thanks for all your guys' support
and uh, there's a little bit better of the the color of it so it's not too bad but there we go there's one of the walls that had to take a lot of it out and over here is the wall where the chimney was and this one over here is I just pretty much put up a whole sheet of uh, drywall there because it was bad once you start you know trying to get it out where you can like put a patch in it or whatnot you know you, you just it just keeps cracking and you know it just it's old but there you go the rest of it was salvageable so by no means is it perfect but hey we're just trying to breathe some life back into this old girl and I think we may have done it make it livable and you know call it a home so once again thanks for your support guys and thanks for watching hope you enjoy the videos and the, uh, the series of us working on our little home so thanks again Shea Bear I'm gone